What's up, everybody? Rob Cash is on the set. Before we get started, any mentioning of any digital asset is not financial advice. You know what to do. Now, let's get on with it. For people out there, all my XRP brothers and sisters in the XRP community, check out this title right here. IMF, World Bank, and EU Commission involvement with Ripple are on pace to make XRP unstoppable. I hope you don't mind if I read this just one more time, folks. IMF, World Bank, and EU Commission involvement with Ripple are on pace to make XRP unstoppable. XRP at 33 cents right now, with this word unstoppable, there's no telling what unstoppable could mean. The sky's the limit. Unstoppable could mean $1,000. Who knows? But I'm going to tell you like this. I have a lot of faith in my holding of XRP. You can't get me to spend my XRP for nothing right now. You can't fund me out the market with anything. And I don't know of any other digital asset and its, and its leaders that are walking with global entities like the IMF, the World Bank, and the EU Commission. Ripple is walking in lockstep with global entities. No other digital asset is doing that. And if you've been following my channel, you already know Rob Cash is not crypto prejudice. So I am not putting down other digital assets because I hold many that are in the top 200. So this is not putting anybody, you know, uh, crypto investment down because that's not the case because the XRP community get a lot of flack for that. It's not about that. What I'm telling you is that I'm secure in the direction of where Ripple is taking XRP. And it's obvious that these entities are secure in Ripple and what they're doing. Because they're, they're actually looking to them to be the template on where we're going to take virtual currencies. They're asking them, where should we take this? Ripple is leading the way for them to set the infrastructure of digital payments, of digital assets or the world working with blockchain with this type of transference or or dealing in commerce. They're looking to Ripple to pave the way. The writing is on the wall, and if you can't see it, you better put your bifocals on. And for all your family members that you talked about, XRP2, if they can't see this, let their blind asses stay behind while you get wealthy. You can't carry dead weight. It is what it is, and for the people that say I sound angry, listen, I'm not angry. I'm just letting you know the train is pulling off. I got my ticket. I am very happy. So if you take this as anger, I don't know what to tell you. This ain't the channel for you. But for the people that are riding with me, let's keep on riding because we're going to get to the promised land of wealth, baby. It's happening. And XRP is going to take us there along with our other assets. Now, they talk about, you know, the technology and stuff like that, which most of us in the space already know about XRP. There's no need to beat a dead horse with that, but let's get on to what they're talking about with where they're looking to take uh, or walk with Ripple. In March this year, the XRapid product was featured on the World Bank's official site. They explained that blockchain technology is potentially revolutionary technology, and they mentioned the efforts that Ripple is currently making in the space. They have also stated that remittances are also more expensive in those places that are needed the most. The World Bank has also mentioned that the X rapid corridor between the United States and Mexico was a positive thing for the digital currency and for the ecosystem. Indeed, the pilot conducted between these two countries provided very positive results. Man, listen, this is wonderful. I'm going to read a little bit more and I'm going to try to keep it moving. I'm going to link the article in the description for you guys to, to check it out in full detail. Moreover, Christine Lagarde, the chairperson of the International Monetary Fund, has been saying very positive things about blockchain technology and how it could improve and make the financial world more efficient. She knows that banks will have to adapt to this new financial world if they want to remain competitive in the market. 
She has also mentioned that blockchain technology will be helping banks to improve the services they offer and reduce payment times and costs. A lot of us uh, know that Christine Lagarde has said these things many times about banks. It's either you adapt or die, plain and simple. Now I'm going to read down here at the last part, and I'm going to move on to some other XRP news. There are other banks that are also analyzing the possibility to start using XRP as a digital currency for payments or blockchain technology. One of these banks is Santander. The company has over $57 billion in deposits and over 650 retail offices in Europe. At the moment, they are working with the X current product and they want to start working with RippleNet and other liquidity products offered by Ripple. Now, a lot of us in the space already know that Ripple Corporation is working with Santander, but now they're ready to step on the gas. This paragraph right here proves that. They're ready to step on the pedal and turn things up. So now, this article is going to be linked in the description. I'm going to get to some more XRP news. Let's keep it moving. Siam Bank set to increase their dependency on Ripple's XRP for cross-border payments. <laughs> Please let me read this one more time. Siam Bank set to increase their dependency on Ripple's XRP for cross-border payments. Dependency. That's another word I like. Oh, my God. XRP first is going to be unstoppable. Now Siam Bank set to increase their dependency on Ripple's XRP. Listen, where is XRP going? It's going to the moon. That's all I'm going to say. And for those that are tired of that saying, oh, well, just get over it. I just know that I'm going to the wealth promised land. Okay. Now, this is a video right here that's linked in this article, so you can check it out. Obviously, you see that market right here. It's on YouTube, but I'm just going to read what this gentleman here was talking about, and then we're going to move on to the next thing. Banking penetration is so low. People use cash. It's convenient. It's cheap. As a bank, we cannot reach 70% of the population. Even though people in Southeast Asia are very advanced smartphone users, when it's time to pay, they don't use their phones, said Paul Ariavat, the chief strategy office at Siam Commercial Bank. He then states, I'm sorry, he then starts to talk about the relationship with Ripple. He stated, we invested in Ripple. We commercialized their technologies. We became, I'm sorry, they became our co-partners in solving these pain points I just mentioned. We actually solved pain points for the Thai migrant workers that live in Japan. We helped them send money home through 30,000 ATM machines. Beyond that, people ask, okay, besides Thailand, what can we do? We looked at our presence in the regions, Cambodian. I'm sorry, Cambodia, we have Vietnam, we have other countries. So we said, okay, let's do that. Sorry, folks, I'm a little hungry. I'm sorry I didn't read that in a seamless manner. But you see the writing on the wall here. We commercialized their technologies. These people said they're depending on Ripple and XRP. I'm going to read this last part and I'm going to move on to the next thing because like I told you folks in the last video, adoption is here and I have more articles to tell you about adoption. It's in our faces, folks. Siam Commercial Bank was Thailand's largest commercial bank. As of 31st of December 2018, SBI Remit, in collaboration with Siam Commercial Bank, is using Ripple's blockchain enterprise solution XCurrent to power real-time remittance payments between Japan and Thailand. It makes it possible for 47,000 Thai nationals living in Japan to send money home faster. Guys, the writing is on the wall. I'm going to link this article in the description. And again, for those people who we told about cryptocurrencies and especially with XRP and what Ripple is doing, if they can't see it, you have to leave the blind behind. That's all I can tell you. Now we're going to get into some more adoption news. Crypto wallet and Visa card. Spin.com launches Apple Pay and Google Pay on iPhone and Samsung devices. Now, 
this is what it looks like right here as it says right here you have Google Pay you have Apple Store so you can download this app and what they're telling you is that not only that you can use their debit card for this you know from the spend.com uh, app you can also use it for the Google Pay and the uh, Apple Pay right from your phone and we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of this article we're going to start it from here the spend app with a quick and easy download from either the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store the spend app and wallet will be the only digital wallet you'll ever need again so they say the spend app allows users to store withdraw send and spend more than 16 cryptocurrencies and 27 fiat currencies at over 40 million locations that's a lot folks pretty aggressive here spend users also have the ability to send funds around the globe and or exchange various currencies all from their spend app whether someone needs to send money to family in Europe or buy sell different currencies it can all be done from the spend app which currently supports 16 cryptocurrencies the US dollar the Canadian dollar the euro and 24 additional fiat currencies guys this is very aggressive I'm gonna link this article as well now just to show you I, I tried to find out which 16 cryptocurrencies um, that they support on their platform I couldn't find it but I did run across this article here spend.com announces XRP support for spend app XRP baby now just to let you know this article was published on February 18th of this year so as of now we do know that XRP is one of the 16 cryptocurrencies supported on their platform XRP will not be denied now I'm going to link this article in the description also but in this article it tells you other assets that are um, supported on their uh, platform as you see here they have the debit card and like I just told you the app you'll be able to use the app to actually pay just using your phone so you might not even have to use your card as well so let's get now here to some meat and potatoes now like I told you this article was published in uh, in February 18th of this year but I'm just gonna read it verbatim just a few days ago the uh, company announced support for other digital currencies some of the other cryptocurrencies supported are Litecoin EOS Ethereum and Bitcoin among others so these are some of the other cryptos that are supported on their platform so as we know it's going to be XRP Litecoin EOS Ethereum and Bitcoin so I guess if you want to find out the others you have to do more research or either download the app check it out now if this isn't adoption in front of you in front of your face I don't know what else to tell you now for those that are interested in one more thing about this app Tron is on the set as well TRX baby so if you're holding that Tron like myself Tron is also available on the spend.com app so let's add another one to that basket that's supported there now we're going to end the video off with some more adoption news it might be light to some but to me it just shows me and secures the fact that the writing is on the wall Metro Wireless announces new payment options of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash mm, mm, mm. the adoption is in front of your face let's go down here on Monday Metro Wireless announced the ability for the customers to quickly pay for the company services with the use of Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin crypto coins the company is based in Detroit and is an internet service provider that has customers that are spread across the nation with the announcement that the company has just made as a customer you will be able to use any payment protocol that is compatible with the crypto wallets thus you will be in possession no you, you I'm sorry you will be in position to complete your transactions very swiftly and easy 
The new move will take effect immediately. Thus, as a customer, you will have you will have been given. Oh man, I need to eat something. The new move will take effect immediately. Thus, as a customer, you will have been given the freedom to choose the payment method you would like to use on the portal and be able to transact easily with the popular coins that are within the market. Now, to ensure that this move has been made successful for the customers, the company has partnered with BitPay, a platform that has been considered to be very popular as a merchant processing company. Guys, this is this is nice. Now, just to let you know, this one last thing, they also went a step ahead with the partnership to integrate the system into their current users experience. Guys, the adoption is in front of your face, okay? And for all the people that choose to be blind, we will leave them behind. The adoption is in our face. And they're speeding up the pace. I'm going to leave with this article right here. We're in lockstep with global entities. XRP is definitely globally on the set. Rob Cash is off the set.